a low sewer back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair HP this looks like a brand new laptop but I seen a flash what is this it is it's a flash on the screen right I mean the laptop is off that's crazy so check there the laptop is off but the screen is flashing how this is possible I mean you have to understand in order to have backlight on the screen you need some signals from the EC chip okay let's plug a charger I mean I don't know nothing about this laptop this is coming from a, from a computer business and they didn't told me what's wrong with the laptop but clearly something wrong let me let me plug a charger so we need the hp the blue pin hp blue pin let's see plug in the charger and he's doing something he's taking some current then he's going to zero check there pressing the power button nothing you can see he's taking he's going to up to 90 then back to zero i mean this is strange i never seen this wall before i mean okay the laptop is dead but why the screen is flashing i will say let's open this laptop and uh, have a look inside It looks like no one opened this laptop before and the laptop it's open looking good now I'm not sure what we should check first I mean this laptop was never open I will say let's first reset the BIOS can be a BIOS issue yeah So the battery is unplugged. Uh, let's plug the charger and see what it's doing. So plug in the charger. And it's doing nothing. Pressing the power button. And it's doing exactly the same. I mean, the current is going up to 60 and it's shutting down. Check that. And the screen is flashing. Yeah, yeah it's doing exactly the same. Lol, so this is a weird fold. This looks like an easy chip issue. Let me take the heatsink out. This coil has a different color. Let's see what do we have here. Here we have an IT chip. Uh, let me check the coil. this coil is fine 84 ohms this one 82 this one is fine this one is fine this one is fine fine i mean everything is looking fine on this motherboard hmm. let's have a look under under the microscope we have a it chip You know, I can see a dot on the on the chip. You can see the dot. I mean, somewhere here. Probably this is a dead EC chip. We have the BIOS chip there. Yeah, otherwise it's looking fine. The laptop. Okay, that's fine. Let me plug the charger. Plug in the charger. And we have some capacitors here, and we have 3.2 volts. Check on the screen. Let 
Then you press the power button. So the power button is pressed. And the voltage is kind of stable. Nothing wrong with the voltage. Kind of, kind of stable. The main power rail, 19.8. I mean, why the screen it will flash like that? Obviously, the voltage which is going for the backlight is stable. Eight 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 seven. You know, let me check with the with the thermal camera. Let's see if we can see something. Because I don't have this EC chip, and uh, I I I didn't see this EC chip before, so it must be something new. Check that the CPU. I mean, this board is trying to to power up. Now you know what here is looking like some liquid damage on the on the RAM connector. Uh, I will say let's clean it. I mean, looking like some liquid damage. I mean, definitely here it was something. Look, you can see, you can see, so here it is something between the pins. And the pins, they have different color. I mean, you can see it's a different level of oxidation. Are not like shiny. Do you think it can be a RAM, uh, RAM slot issue? Let's dry. I mean, check the color. You can see the color on the pins. Yeah. Let me plug a charger. Uh, plug in the charger. Let's press the power button. 140 milliamps. We didn't have this before. A hundred milliamps, and it's doing the same. No, actually, it's on. It's not shutting down anymore. It's constant, like a hundred milliamps. Yeah, it goes off. A hundred forty milliamps. This is a good sign. Yeah, of course, we reset the BIOS, we took out the battery, so it's normal for the laptop to restart. And it's stuck to 140 milliamps. Hmm? But, you know, we, we see not change, that means the problem can be from, uh, from the RAM slot. And it's rebooting, it's keep rebooting. Okay, that's fine, that's okay. Let's check what voltages do we have. Here we have one volt, one volt, 3.2 volts. On the RAM memory we have zero, 1.2 volts on the RAM memory. So we have like uh, 140 milliamps constant current. 250, I seen 250 there. We have picture, that's crazy. Lol, so actually it's working. Enter to reboot the system. So that, that was the problem, some liquid damage on the on the RAM slot. And yeah, now it's working. And it's loading the windows. But it's taking such a low current. Check that. I mean I see like a hundred milliamps. 
for a running laptop? No, we don't have heatsink. So actually, the laptop is working without the heatsink. You can believe that? Yeah. And no heatsink on the CPU. That's crazy. Lol. Okay. Let me put back the custom RAM memory. Yeah, the RAM is looking good. Okay, let me put back the heatsink. Yeah, this is... So the Windows and all the data is on this chip. I mean, it looks like the manufacturers are learning from uh, from Apple. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what is interesting. I never seen this fault. I mean, because of the RAM memory to have like a flashing screen. Never seen something like that before. So have in mind. I mean, I never seen before actually a, a laptop to not start because of our memory. Memory usually the you know the laptop is starting with uh, uh, with black screen, but not this one. This one was not starting, and I, I think I know why it's not charging. It's not charging because this customer is sending me the laptop for repairs, fully charged, but every time, every single time, he sends me the laptops with fully charged batteries. And I believe that's why it's not charging. Let me check the voltage on the battery. 12.3 and 11.4. Yeah, the battery is fully charged. I mean, this is crazy. Yeah, you can go wrong. You remember, we said the EC chip is faulty just because it was not charging. Mm hmm? Yeah. Okay, pressing the power button, let's uh, do a final test. We put back the customer memory. I mean, it's not working. It's doing exactly like before. So check the screen, it's flashing. Flashing screen, you can see, exactly like before. Uh, you know what? I believe actually the the customer RAM memory is faulty. Let me put my RAM memory. So we test the laptop with this RAM memory before. Yeah, with my RAM memory is working. But you know what? If you look back on the video, before I clean it, I tested with my RAM memory and it was not working. So I think here are like actually two faults, but let's check the RAM memory under the microscope and see if we can, uh, if we can spot something. So this is the customer RAM memory and it's clean. I can't see anything here. No, nothing. I mean, it's perfect. So what can be wrong with this RAM memory? Usually RAM memory means the laptop is turning on with black screen. But yeah, looks like the technology is changing. <laughs> okay, perfect. So I'm going to stop here. Yeah, it's working fine. No problem. I would say uh, thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.